Hi Gemini, how's it going? Welcome back. And for those of you that are new, I am so grateful you're here. My name is Sam. So happy you stumbled upon my channel. As promised, I'm announcing that I'm giving away two free personal love readings for the month of August. So if you haven't become a subscriber as of yet, go ahead and do that. Um, there are monthly giveaways, usually personal readings. Um, but then there's also around the holidays, monetary, you know, gift card giveaways. So to take part in that, all you need to do is subscribe. New and returning subscribers for this month, go ahead and leave the word giveaway down below, letting me know you're interested. At the end of the month, I'll always randomly choose two people or whatever the giveaway is. Sometimes it's three readings, but this month I'll choose two people to win the two free love giveaway, uh, two free love readings. Um, I'll always remind you to check your notifications at the end of the month because like I said, two people will be hearing from me. And with the beginning of the next month of um, readings, I'll always announce the next giveaway for that month. All right, Gemini, let's see what is coming out for you guys. Oh, look at this, tender embrace. I love an elephant. I love elephants. Tender embrace, 22. Two, two. Something coming together. And the royal you. You're bringing in what's coming towards you. This is you feeling the best version of yourself. You can see this lotus flower. Gemini is completely open, right? Blossoming through the dirtiest of waters. The hardest of cycles. Readjusting your crown or your tiara. You're ready for this month. You've done a lot of work on yourself. Yeah, look at this. Into me, I see. There's something you're desiring that's coming towards you. All right, let's see what else. I'm telling you, I just got back from vacation and I started these readings. This picture fell down. I had to fix it. I probably shouldn't have even touched it. My candle, something, I don't know, something was funky with it. Look at this. Spirit is saying to look for the signs. Those questions, those things that you're desiring, that you're praying for, are manifesting, looking for signs. Messages are to be seen and heard. Messages are to be seen and heard. I have to say, my dad is, he's a Catholic, right? I'm spiritual. He's a Catholic. And when my grandma passed away, his mom... He said a dove literally came on his path like when he was at work that day and he just knew that that was the moment that my grandma passed away, but he did say a dove. So I'm telling you, there are miracles. There are blessings all around you. What you're desiring, what you're manifesting, Gemini, in, in the moment, in a day, just give yourself a second to notice you are going to see repeating numbers. You may see a ladybug. It could be a rainbow, um, a feather. I see feathers every day, every day. And I pick them all up. We were actually coming back from the beach this weekend. And it was a monsoon out on the day we were coming back. It was pouring hard. But my sister is the pro packer. So she doesn't want me to help her packing the car. Okay. So I look down and there are three feathers. Yeah, they're dirty. It's raining, you know, but it didn't matter. I bent down, I picked up. She's like, are you kidding me right now? I'm packing the car and you're picking up feathers. And I was like, yeah, you said you didn't want my help. What else am I going to do? I'm, I'm, so I'm, Spirit's giving me a sign. Then I put them in the cup holder and she's like, move the feathers so I can put my Starbucks there. So there are signs, there are miracles all around you. You just have to give yourself a moment to notice. Imagination beyond limits. What is it that you're desiring? What is it that you're fantasizing about? It is possible. It's doable. It, there's, it's, it may not come to fruition for you in this lifetime, but there is something along those what you're manifesting what you're desiring along that line 
but it'll make you so much more happier. There is something magical happening for you. All right, let's get into it. We're going to see what energy lies around you, Gemini. And then when I came home, my fiance had found a blue feather from the blue jays that we feed out in the yard. Um, there's four of them. He found a blue feather. So when I came home, I came in the basement to drop off the dirty clothes and it was sitting right on the washer. And is he spiritual? Um, he's probably more spiritual since he's met me. All right, so what energy is around Gemini? All right, we'll take them. We have the Page of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. So there is an offer coming in. Page of Cups could be, um, in terms of love, it could be younger than you, a little bit younger than you. Water sign, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but we also have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This could be communication with a long-term friend or, you know, or meeting a friend who, who, who turns out to be long-term. But I feel someone special coming in. And the Five of Wands. For those of you that are going through some financial difficulty, um, you feel challenges. Every time you go to pay a bill or when your paycheck comes in and you're wondering like how you're going to get by, please remember that that is temporary. As long as you're working and putting some type of effort into your life, those things that you're desiring, how you want to get yourself out of that, that situation, believe me, signs, your spirit guides are guiding you. That type of situation is temporary. I feel that you are overcoming specific challenges in the month of August. I also feel you could be at like a disagreement with someone, maybe a friend or a family member, maybe a, you know, a breakup, a, a disagreement that caused a breakup. I do feel that there will be growth there. All right, let's get deeper. Justice is at the bottom of the deck. So like I said, where there has been challenges, I do feel balance. Um, you know, a give, a, not like instead of a tug of war, but a give and take type of thing. Six of swords. Somebody I do feel is at a distance from you. But I also feel that you are traveling forward, leaving the troubled waters behind. If you notice... What are they, crows or ravens or, you know, falcons, whatever. They're guiding the the, um, the boat. You are being divinely guided away from tough cycles. And the sun was at the bottom of the deck. Something is going on here, Gemini. I have Gemini rising. All right, spirit. Beginning, middle, and end of August for Gemini. Beginning, middle, and end of August for my Geminis. All right. Yeah, I see two of swords being at a crossroads. And just notice it's the same birds that were, ga that were pulling the boat. I feel like a, the blindfold is coming off. A decision, a big decision is being made here. Beginning of the month, Three of Cups. I feel union of some sort. Excitement and adventure. You could be at a disagreement with a friend or a sibling, maybe even a parent, and you overcome that, you get through it. There's an adventure, something exciting for you. The tower, you're not expecting what is coming towards you. I have to say, I do feel that there is someone in your life that you're at a crossroads with, Gemini. And there is about to be movement here. Take it how it resonates. I feel that you're ready for this breakthrough with this person because the royal you, you're working within your best energy. Tender embrace. Not only do I feel like your spirit guides are divinely guiding you towards this breakthrough, but I also feel a different type of blessing coming in. 
tender embrace is a special someone coming towards you, but it's also your spirit guides embracing you. All right, let's see what else we got, Gemini. of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, Judgment, the Hierophant, Justice, and wow, Justice was at the bottom of the deck when this came out. She's got the scales as a tattoo on her arm. The Two of Wands. There's an opportunity opening up for you here. Something that balances out your life. With the Two of Wands, it's something that has long-term happiness and potential with it. Notice the globe is here. For some of you, you could be thinking about relocating. You could be thinking about someone that lives in a different state or different country. Where is your mind taking you in this moment and throughout the month of August? Because I also see with the Eight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles an opportunity, as I stated in the very beginning, happening within your work or your career. For those of you, and I know you're going to say, yeah, right. For those of you suffering financially right in this moment, I feel a breakthrough within the month of August that at the end of August, you're going to feel more abundant, more prosperous. Maybe someone even coming towards you supportively offering you money to help you pay your bills or money, you know, you know. Your parents even saying, why don't we pay this and this for you just through this tough month for you? It's going to be different how it affects you. But I do feel abundance, prosperity, and I feel something magical happening. Reconnecting with someone for some of you that are at a distance from this person. Disagreement, separation. This tower moment... I, do, I feel you don't have to fear it. It's blessings coming towards you. Divinely guided blessings. Listening to your higher self within this month. What is your intuition telling you that is your higher self? You never have to second guess her or him. Because it's it's that gift from the universe. It's that gift from the from your spirit guides is our intuition, is our higher self but there is something amazing that you're moving towards in the month of August that feels you has you feeling so happy so successful just enjoying like the best life within this month all right let's see what else we can get spirit please clarify what is coming towards Gemini within the month of August. We have the Royal You, Tender Embrace. There it is, the Ace of Cups. Signs and Imagination. The Six of Swords, remember, it was at the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Cups, there is someone traveling towards you with feelings and emotions. The Eight of Swords, Judgment. We have Judgment here twice. Spirit, why is judgment here twice? What is this blessing coming in? Thank you. There it is. Did I not say someone special is coming towards you with feelings and emotions? Ten of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Ten of Pentacles showing up twice. Spirit, why is the pen Ten of Pentacles here twice? Five of Wands. 
overcoming challenges in their life. And Spirit, why did the Six of, six of Swords show up twice? There it is. Much needed healing. Much needed balance. You have temperance in reverse. This is you moving away from pain, from hurt, um, from that imbalance within your life. I feel that you're making big decisions in this month and you're taking off that blindfold. Where you were once like maybe feeling comfortable of ignoring something, not being at a crossroads, not making a decision, maybe caught up in your mind space because you are an air sign. So being caught up in your mind space, you're moving beyond that. And I feel that's why spirit is bringing in this blessing. All right. Spirit, you're sending signs to Gemini and imagination. Please clarify signs and imagination. Seven of Wands, a breakthrough, something worth fighting for. Nine of Wands, the Page of Cups, showing up twice. Look at this, the lovers going back to a very special connection coming towards you. In the month of August. Yeah, and the Ten of Pentacles again. This special connection. They want to get to know you deeper. They want to remain connected to you for long term. Tender embrace. I really feel like you are about to really... You're about to experience a higher level of commitment here. And it's divinely guided towards you. May come in as a small offer with it being a page of cups. But it's going to quickly evolve. All right. Spirit. What else do you have to clarify this reading deeper for Gemini? Something is coming in very sudden, very unexpected. But it changes everything for you. I also feel that you are like ripping the band-aid off with specific things in your life. Um, like I said with the two of swords and you're feeling it, you're embracing it, but you're moving beyond it. Yeah, the time has come. To reap the rewards of all your hard labor. You're, something is harvesting here for you. And there it is. The message of feelings. There is communication coming in. Heartfelt communication. And as I stated, this will develop over time. In terms of work and career, let's get a couple messages from Spirit. For my Geminis for the month of August. All right, we have a few. Work from home. So for those of you that are, you know, you could be doing this, you know, or it's something that you want to do. You know, dude, I ever think that life would take me down, um, I want to say an adjacent path, because I didn't give up healthcare, but it, like an adjacent path um, of doing Etsy and doing YouTube. Nope. But it's got me working from home. And it's quite ironic that my dog is right beside me right now. So for some of you, this opportunity is coming. You want to start your own business. This is the sign. Selling. Maybe opening your own business. Maybe you applied. It looks like a, like, um, like a, not a diner. Like a, a cafe. Maybe thinking about opening your own business or going into business with someone. And just be conscious of your spending through the month of August. I did see the squirrel at the bottom of the one deck, which caught my mind. Being more frugal with your money. Not overspending. Maybe not having 10 Amazon packages outside of your door. Remember, nobody's judging. I'm Gemini Rising and... I have always had 10 packages. All right. 
dreams of abundance. As you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Remember, look at this. Pay attention to your dreams. Be sure to record your dream. Wow. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into your reality. I feel a many, a good select of you needed to hear that. And in Gemini, final message from your higher self or two for the month of August. Life can be hard and life can be wonderful. Which will you focus on? Life can be hard or life can be wonderful. Is the glass half full or is it half empty? Which will you focus on? Do your thoughts need a reboot? Focus on the good in your life. There's always something magical in a day. You just have to give yourself a moment to say it. So much love and light, Gemini.